Oh man, that audio crackling during the intro was something else. Let's hope that's not too bad in the final video. Welcome back to the lair, I'm Raven, and we're about to step from the lair into the depths of hell itself. As we begin our Diablo Marathon, for no reason other than I couldn't get LEGO Island 2 to work at 60 frames per second. <clears throat> we're going to be playing through this run through as the Rogue. I think I've beaten Diablo 1 once. I've played it a, a couple of times. I'm going to call myself Raven. Let's step to Trist. Oh, look at that loading screen. Ooh, it took no time at all. Incredible. Let's go look around. That Tristan theme. It's the greatest. Yeah. Let's just walk back over here and talk to Faram the Drunk. Time to follow drinking peace? No. Griswold? Good old Griswold. I love him like a brother. We've fought together, you know, back when we... Lazarus. Lazarus. Lazarus! Kaiba! Um, let's leave him alone. He's obviously having emotional issues. Ah, uh, and here, of course, is the main man, Deckard Cain. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Tell me, Cain, what do you think about Diablo 3? The story of. Ah, no. He, he, he gave me a different dialogue. Cut it. Cut that part. Cut that part. Joke ruined. The story of Wirt is a frightening and tragic one. He was taken from the arms of his mother and dragged into the labyrinth by the small, foul demons that wield wicked spears. There were many other children taken that day, including the son of King Leoric. The knights of the palace went below, but never returned. The blacksmith found the boy, but only after the foul beast had begun to torture him for their sadistic pleasures. Yeah, the last time I talked to Kane as the first dialogue, he uh, he did an ah, and I was gonna have a whole series of jokes where he goes ah. Oh, what can uh, I do for you? What can I do for you? I'm a bloody yes, Scot. Aye, that's a good weapon, balanced against any foe. Look how it cleaves the air, and then imagine a nice fat demon head in its path. Keep in mind, however, that it is slow to swing. But talk about dealing a heavy blow! Indeed. Let's take a look at what he has for sale. We'll go basic, because I don't think we have much in the way of gold. Okay, scroll wheel doesn't work. Okay, I've probably got a short bow already. Hunter's bow is the next one at 350 gold. Let's see what I've got. Yes, I've got a short bow, but I don't have any armor. Not that it matters for the immediate moment. Let's talk to Ogden. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Hasn't anyone sent off, like, the army, or... I mean, they said the palace knights went down there but didn't return. But you'd think, you know, if people are dying... <laughs> what ails you, my friend? What ails you, my friend? Poor word. I did all that was possible for the child. But I know he despises that wooden peg that I was forced to attach to his leg. His wounds were hideous. No one, and especially such a young child, should have to suffer the way he did. Indeed not. Speaking of which, let's go find Wirt. He's around here somewhere. Oh, now we've got to talk to Gillian first. Good day. How may I serve? Cain has been the storyteller of Tristram for as long as I can remember. He knows so much, and can tell you just about anything. About almost everything. Almost like he was part of some arcane mystic organization. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Spoilers. Oh, he's down here, I believe. If my memory serves, he is just across hiding out in these uh, rocks. Yeah. There he is. Over here. 
Yeah. I'm not going to, uh, you know, buy anything. Let's talk Don't to him. trust everything the drunk says. Too many ales have fogged his vision and his good sense. This guy's totally way past cool, dude. <clears throat> yes. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's all that's down here. So without any further ado, there is the witch um, who is off to one side. But I think it's time that we start playing Diablo. Because it's been eight minutes. And so it is time for us to get to the heart of the action. Yeah. Let's find up. Oh, here we go. Now you got to think, this is what, 1995? Six. This is pretty fucking creepy. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. Bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him. So that our souls may finally rest. Yes, the Butcher. He is not an easy... Uh... Your death will be avenged. Indeed. He is not an easy one to kill. But let's go. It is time to enter the dungeon. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Wow, that's lucky. There's a, the way down is right fucking there. <laughs> that's, that's sort of uh, speedrun type uh, luck. Not that that's what this is. Oh, fools. Showing yourself to me all so soon. Now, you will have noticed, those of you who are more familiar with the later Diablo games, that there's no run. I can't run. I can attack without any fear of uh, running out of ammunition or anything. However, you can't see items on the ground unless you hi uh, hover over them. Like this gold pieces here. I think there's a spell that uh, shows things. But on the bright side, because there's no ammunition, I can just fire off as much as I want to. The gold. Hmm. But listen to that classic Diablo music. Such a good soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Another skeleton. Ha! If this is the best Diablo has to offer, then we will be through this game in absolutely no time at all. If I remember correctly, there are 16 levels to the dungeon. And for this playthrough, I'm going to explore each level 100%. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try not to die, naturally. I'll admit, it's been a few years since I last played, played this game, so I'm not going to pretend that I... Ow. But I know perfectly what's uh, coming up. I think the time that I did beat the game, I was playing as the warrior as well. I do have that bone noise isn't going to get annoying for you. <laughs> Grab that potion. Ooh, it's a big potion. Nice. Grab that sarcophagus. Because naturally we have to check it to make sure there aren't any skeletons hiding out inside it. Now I mentioned at the beginning this is uh, part of a Diablo marathon. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do Diablo 1, then I'm going to do Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction. I'm not going to do Hellfire, because as far as I'm concerned, it's not an actual part of the Diablo universe. And maybe after that we'll do Diablo 3, I'm not sure. The trouble with Diablo 3 is it, it is a touch, uh... It, it's fine, but once I've played Diablo 2... I'll, I'll already just be satiated with the glory that is Diablo 2. I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, another scroll. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big trouble. You items very easily get lost on the ground. Like this potion here. <laughs> I completely missed that. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, level up. Uh, so. Now I have to remember what increases the power of our bow. Does strength increase the power of the bow? Probably not. I will increase my vitality first, I think. Yes. There we go. Yeah, ah, there we go. That's the button for it. Right, let's go south. See what awaits us in this direction. 
Ooh. Come on, get him, get him. Skeletons are fast, really fast. Ooh, did not see that in. Uh, fallen one, sorry. There aren't any imps, there are only fallen ones. And fallen one shaman. Shamans. Shaman? Shaman. Fallen one shaman. Ah! Didn't see that coming either. That's the trouble with this, uh... Yeah, I, I, I can see what's going on, but... Everything's brown. <laughs> and dark. So dark. I need a better light radius. Some gold. How much gold do I have? Okay, we're gonna... Oh, oh shit. Uh, I saw that. I can almost afford to buy that better bow, which will be good. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, no you don't. Gotta keep an eye on them dark, dark patches. Um, thank you. It's a good thing there isn't ammunition in this game, so I'd probably be out of arrows by now. Uh, keep firing. Don't let them have any quarter. Ooh. Ooh. If I get hit again, I'll probably use a potion. Thankfully, some things do remain constant between Diablo 1 and Diablo 2. Uh, for example, if I hold down shift, I will... Uh, I, I stop moving and I fire from that position rather than walking around. Which is just so absolutely cri critical when it comes to shooting enemies at long range. Because otherwise, one misclick and you just start walking towards them rather than firing. And typically speaking, walking toward the person you're trying to shoot at range is a bad idea. It also means, of course, that you can also uh, shoot on at the ground, as it were. You, you can shoot where they're going to be rather than where they are. Hmm, is that a secret room? I don't know, maybe. Silly Skeletal. Whoa, that's a lot of Skeletal. No thank you, Mr. Skeletal. That'll do. Hmm, secret room, secret room. How do we get there? One of these walls click through a wall? Hmm. Oh, oh no, there, there, there's a door. It's right there. It's hidden behind the transparency. Okay. What's in the bookcase? Ah, book of fireball. Nice. And the library book is a scroll of identify, scroll of healing, some gold. I think that's everything in here. Yes. Okay, we've got ourselves a lot of stuff. We're almost full. Not quite there. Go ahead and put this cape on. I think that's the same as what we've got. Yep. 15 magic, sure. We'll learn Firebolt. Trap, disarm, and Firebolt. Firebolt can be useful if you've got to uh, uh, shoot stuff that's immune to physical. I don't know. I, I don't think immune to physical exists in uh, Diablo 1. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think monsters have uh, traits like they do in Diablo 2. And certainly immune to physical, was, I think that was Lord of Destruction. Ah, uh, this is one of my favourite moments from both games. What's that? You're stuck behind bars. Sucks to be you. Let's go ahead and increase my dexterity. Oh, I keep I keep pressing A, because A is the character in Diablo 2. <laughs> Diablo 2. I'm just going to talk about Diablo 2 for, <laughs> throughout this entire bloody thing. It truly is the masterpiece. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I see, I never played... Uh, the first time I was exposed to Diablo... Would have been at one of my brother's LAN parties uh, back in the day. And at that time, I I was a big old scaredy cat. This was back when I was still having nightmares about, well, the seventh guest, the eleventh hour, stuff like that. I was not into this really dark, uh, gothic-y horror, or any sort of horror, actually. But Diablo 2, now that's something, that was something, I was like, Blah, 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 blah. That was a game I could get behind with the, the the fantasy and the fighting back against darkness. And Diablo 1, I 
if I remember correctly, it was a few years after that, that LAN party, I saw the Diablo 2 uh, battle chest. I was like, yeah, this, this looks pretty good. It's like, oh my god, will, will the guy in the shop sell it to me? There's a, there's a freaking red skull right on the box, but I am old enough for it. And they did sell it to me. And it, it came with Diablo 2, uh, Lord of Destruction, and it also had a copy of Diablo 1, which is obviously this copy that I'm playing now. And it came with a big old Diablo 2, uh, one, one of those old uh, strategy guides. I forget the name of the, the company, but they, they still make them. And that book had all sorts of rune combinations and items, information. <laughs> it's probably a, a mistake in hindsight, but I did pour over that book uh, somewhat. It's very hard to strike that balance between reading about something that you're very interested in and not spoiling yourself. And I did somewhat spoil myself with Diablo 2. Let's just clear this little room here. Ooh, imp. Get some, ooh, more imps. Fire, 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 fire. Uh, scavengers. Okay. Uh, ooh, and another book of Firebolt. That'll probably sell nicely. Uh, grab a quick drink here. <sighs> okay. That unnecessary drink later. We've almost cleared this floor. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh no, you don't. Yeah, gotcha. Diablo uh, 1 is a much slower game than Diablo 2. And you, un understandably, that the te technology and what have you, you know, the, the leap between Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 is like. Night and day. Oh wow, that's a lot of potions. That's a pretty good chest. And the things like being able to run in Diablo 2 changes the pace of the game entirely. And the the number of enemies, I, I think there are... Can't carry anymore. Uh, time to play some Tetris. We can do this. Come on. Yes. Tetris, baby. That's another part I love about Diablo. Inventory management. You gotta get everything arranged just so. And then of course we talk about Diablo 3. Di Diablo 3 was a fine game. It was absolutely fine. But it took away a lot of what made Diablo 2 as good as it was. Th things that uh, Path of Exile and what have you got right. My main qualm with Diablo 3, I mean, a lot of people have issues with the story. I don't have much in the way of issues. I'll tell you where you can put it, my dear. You have a book of healing. Okay, we'll swap that out. Can I learn it? I can't use this yet. Damn. Well, I want to hold on to that anyway. Oh, God damn it! Pick up the gold. Uh, so I'll leave that book of firebolt on the ground. Book of healing is good in case you've run out of healing potions. Get a cheeky heal out. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. Uh, a lot of people had issues with Diablo 3's story, but I thought it was, it was fine. It was okay. The, the big issue I have with it is every single attack you have is a special attack. And if all of your attacks are special, none of your attacks are special. In this game, all I'm doing is firing my bow. That, that That's exactly what you should be doing. <laughs> Some people be like, oh, but that's boring. You're just firing a bow. Ugh, how mundane. It's like, yeah, the, this, if you just go around casting tons of magical spells and what have you, then... That, that you can take I'm trying to think of the right way to phrase it crimson and azure become as the sun nice that cool it's like a diablo skull oh shit oh wow oh holy crap that turned all my potions into rejuvenation potions oh Holy moly, that's a hell of a... Uh, do I have a scroll of town portal? No, okay. Scrolls of town portal are a little more scarce than they are in Diablo 2. So we'll just have to walk back. Damn it, I've got the <laughs> sidetrack from Diablo 3 again. Uh, yeah, so... Hang on, have I, have I not done this? Ooh, another... Oh, wow, a treasure room. Yes, just in time as well. I was about to leave. Get that gold. 
Gold! Scroll of healing. Cool, we have a space for it. Neat. Yes, if... There's nothing wrong with having a quote-unquote mundane attack as your primary attack, because it makes sense, you know, Legolas isn't going around casting crazy seeking arrows or stuff like that. No, Legolas basically just fires a whole lot of arrows really quickly. That's now his... Where would I put this? That's his thing. Whereas in Diablo 3 it's just every single attack is some special glowy, over-the-top nonsense. Which is the problem I had with Torchlight, where your mundane attack with a, with a bow, it doesn't fire an arrow, it fires some sort of white streak. It's like, no, no, that, that, that should be an arrow, not some magical white streak thing. I think I've walked... oh, there, down here. Well, oh, I thought I walked too far then. But I, uh, diverge. Path of Exile had oh, made the same mistake. Sell. Oh no, don't tell me I have to do this. Uh, okay, I can do that, cool. Uh, yeah, I can get to sell all this, can't I? Yeah. No qualms there. Does he have that? Ah, you bastard. He got rid of the hunter's bow. Does he have any premium items? What's he got? Cape of Magic, Saber Dexterity... Ah... You wound me. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so what have I got? I've got a cape, which is armor 2. I think I can get... Oops. Quilted armor. Quilted armor. Armor 7. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that. I've got enough gold for it. I'll buy a skull cap. As I can't get my bow. Though I still have enough gold for it if I do manage to find a vendor with one. Oh, it's... it's I thought there was a fucking pole in the middle of the skull cap, but it, it's, it's the nose. <laughs> oh, man, I was about, what? Why? Oh, what can I do for Escape you? doesn't close menus. Sell. Thank you. Make sure everything is good. All right. Uh, I don't have to talk to Kane about anything. He does. I think I have to talk to the witch to sell any of these spell things. Hello, my friend. Stay up. It seems that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son. He played upon their fears and whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors to die. That bastard. I know of many myths and legends that may contain answers to questions that may arise in your journeys into the labyrinth. If you come across challenges and questions to which you seek knowledge, seek me out. And I will tell you what I can. If only this game had a text parser and you could actually uh, send questions to him. And he could have all sorts of crazy dialogue. You, my friend? Yeah, I'm already at full health. Let's see what he has to say. Right, I know of this vile demon. There were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. That doesn't sound good at all. While I use some limited forms of magic to create the potions and elixirs I store here, Adria is a true sorceress. She never seems to sleep, and she always has access to many mystic tomes and artifacts. I believe her hut may be much more than the hovel it appears to be, but I can never seem to get inside the place. Why, are you a burglar? Jeez. Uh, let's see what Og Og Ogden has to say. Master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Greetings, kid master. I am British. You want to know more about the history of our village? The storyteller Kane knows quite a bit about the past. That's useful. Um, yes. not. Farnham has mumbled something about a hulking brute who wielded a fierce weapon. 
I believe he called him a butcher. Again, really, really useful stuff. I thank you for your keen Whoa, insight. What can I do for you? Let's see what Griswold has to say. I saw what Farnham calls the butcher as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again, but his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day. So basically, everyone fucking runs away from the butcher. Your weapons and armor will show the signs of your struggles against the darkness. If you bring them to me, with a bit of work and a hot forge, I can restore them to top fighting form. I'm sure you can. But who is this Adria? Will she ever appear again in the Diablo universe in some plot contrived way? Yes. <laughs> Spoilers. Come on. Uh, uh, let's, go, let's go find Adria. She's around here somewhere. I forget. I think you have to cross a couple bridges, don't you? Oh, no, there she is. Adria the Witch. Oh, you be at the edge. In Indeed. Let's talk to her. Though the heat of the sun is beyond measure, the mere flame of a candle is of greater danger. No energies, no matter how great, can be used without the proper focus. For many spells, ensorcelled staves may be charged with magical energies many times over. I have the ability to restore their power, but know that nothing is done without a price. My name is Adria. I talk in Nipmina. <laughs> oh, Adria, you saucy minx. We all know what that's your f eyeing up cane right now. The butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village. She reminds me of how the, um, the du uh, Duras sisters talk. 